Let's continue. So here we have a region bounded by square root of x, which is this upper curve, and x squared, which is this lower curve. If I zoom out, hopefully you'll see those curves a little bit better. So this is x squared, the blue line or the blue curve, and then this reddish orangish color uh, represents square root of x. So we don't care about what's happening out here. We just care about what happens in the region bounded by these two curves. Now you can set these two functions equal to each other, root x equals x squared, and then you'll find out that they intersect at x equals zero and x equals one. So those are my bounds of integration. And this region has to be spun around, I believe the y axis, yeah. So that's the purple line, that's my axis of rotation. So what I want you to observe is what's going to happen to the various points on this curve. This point is going to make a great circle that goes around behind the screen, on the screen, and then out towards you, and then goes back to where it was. This point is not going to move anywhere because it's already on the axis of revolution. This point is going to make a larger circle, hit this curve, and then come back. This point is going to go make a smaller circle and then come back. So let's spin it, see what happens in the orientation we're in. So again, this is coming out towards us. And this is where it's farthest right in front of us. Now it's going back. This is now in the plane. And then that's the full circle. So if I were to change the perspective, you can see that it's the same shape throughout because we're making a circular arc. But if I change the perspective this way, you're going to see that, it, actually this is difficult to see. Let me zoom out. If I change my perspective, cannot. So, Imagine that you can kind of sort of see the shadow here. The only solid, the, the solid that's being created here is imagine that you gave an injection to an ice cream cone. So instead of it having like perfectly straight sides, you gave the, the edges or the walls of the cone and you filled it up, let's say with water or something. Then you'd have these thicker walled cones and then this portion in the middle is actually carved out. So, or you can think of it as, you know, a solid dome of wood, and then you take a drill and then you very carefully carve out this piece in the center. So this region is actually empty space. And I really wish I could spin it around to show you that. Uh, yeah, the color differential, unfortunately, is not gonna let me show it, but you can, I, this portion is empty space. This is not the solid. The solid is only where the shadow is. So even if I spin it around the other way, uh, it's not really giving that much of a better view. All right, so for this one, I'm not gonna spend too much time. This is about the best I can do, uh, given the fact that the colors are the same. Are, are the same. But again, you can notice that you can imagine this to be uh, an ice cream cone that got Botox, as it were. Uh, this one maybe might be a little bit easier. So here we have the same region bounded by root x, x squared, x equals zero, x equals one. Those are the two points where the two curves intersect. And now we're spinning it about the x-axis. So that's gonna come out and then go back in the same way. So now if I change the perspective, I don't know if it's gonna be any easier to observe, not really. From here, you can just sort of see the shape grow. So it comes out towards you. This is about where there's a reflection of it uh, below the x-axis. Let me see if I can change that perspective. It's about as far as I can take it. I can't really go outside the screen too much. And then if I continue to revolve, then I get that shape. that point's gone.
So here you can see that it's the cone laying on its side that got its walls filled in with extra water. And then this portion is where the ice cream would go. So this is empty space. The walls are just given by this darker shaded region. Uh, this is the graph of x squared plus 1. So it's our friendly neighborhood parabola moved up by one unit. So this is x equals 1. Uh, or sorry, y equals 1. x equals 1 is one end of the region or one boundary. x equals 0 is another. And the x-axis is the third. And we're asked to find the volume, what, uh, what happens or what will be the volume if we spin it about the x-axis. So let's show you. This is coming out towards you. Now this is right you know, on, on the x-axis about there. This is about where the reflection would be across the x-axis. And now it's going behind the region. So that's where it's right behind the x-axis. And now it makes a full circle. So here, if I spin this a bit, you'll see that it's almost like you took a volcano with a pointy end up here, and then you chopped it off. That's the way I see this. Or you can think of it as like a blowhorn where you chop off the, the front end or the, the amplifying end of it or the mouthpiece side, and then this is just the end that's remaining. Unlike the previous problem, unlike this one where this was carved out because it was hollow in the middle, this is perfectly solid because the region that we started with didn't have any holes in it. So if I go back, this is the region that I have. There's no carved out holes here. Whereas by comparison here, if we undo the rotation, you'll notice that this is the region and then this is empty space. So when we revolve this region about the x-axis, only this portion is where the, the wall of the ice cream cone is going to be, not this region. But here, this entire region is getting spun around. So let's change the perspective a bit. And let's do a spin again. So this is coming out towards you. That's where it's right in front of you, or that's, that's where it's coming right towards you out of the screen. That's where it's on the bottom side of the screen. That's going out away from you behind your computer screen. And then this is all the way through. So here, even if I were to spin this the other way, you'll notice that the whole thing is solid. There's no empty gaps in the middle. Hopefully that makes sense. Now what happens if we spin this, but about the y-axis? So same functions, x squared plus 1, x equals 0, x equals 1, y equals 0, the x-axis. So there's this uh, region that we've created. And if we spin this about the uh, y-axis, x equals 0, this point is going to carve out a circle and then go back. This point is not going to go anywhere. This point is not going to go anywhere. This point is going to carve out a circle this way and then come back. Now you'll notice that the region that we create will have this portion in it because it's shaded, but this will be carved out because this is empty space. So let's start spinning. This is where it's coming out right towards you. I'm going to change the perspective to get the point across that it's empty space in the middle. So this is a much better view of what I was trying to show you earlier. This is all solid. This is empty space. So imagine taking a tree trunk and then taking an ice cream scooper, assuming that was even possible, and carving out or scooping out the part in the center. And then if I were to continue to revolve it, it would go back, behind, and then come back. So here, if I can change the perspective. This is the, the log of ice cream, and then this is the region that's been scooped out of it. So if I were to undo the rotation, you can see this is the solid part. So this region, when it's revolved around the y-axis, this is going to be solid. This is the region that's going to be missing. So pay close attention to that if I spin this. So this is right about there it's coming straight out of the screen. And as I spin it continuously, this is on the screen, but to the left. So that's the orientation we're on. So this region was when it was coming straight out of the screen, about there. And then if I go to a half rotation, 
This is where it's going or on the screen itself, but moving to the left. And then if I continue to spin it, it's gonna go behind the screen directly in front of you and then make a full circle. So hopefully that perspective gets across this idea of uh, a log of ice cream with the top of it scooped out.